Welcome back everybody to Hurley's Hobbies. Uh, in this episode we're going to continue on on the fuselage. Let's get a building. The next thing we need to do, we need to put this piece in. If you look at the drawing, or in the manual, it, it shows it kind of like going to there. But that's not the way it goes. It goes all the way back to here. You have to come back all the way back to your, your landing gear. And I notch this out. It's on a little bit of an angle right here. See, it's got a little bit of an angle. And I tapered it a little bit right there. Because it hits that landing gear um, support doubler in there. It hits it on this side. So I'm going to put that in there. So under here, you're only going to catch a little bit of this. So when you put it up in there, it's only catching this outside edge. Same as the motor mount. It's only catching this very outside edge. See, it's only catching that. It's not... It's not setting flat on it. It's not gonna. You know, I thought of, it was like that last time. So what I'm gonna do is I'll come back in and I'll, I think I'm gonna stick some epoxy in there. Cause I'm gonna put a, a piece of wood on this bottom anyways. Is I'm gonna come back in and epoxy that. Because it has you putting this piece on, only half of it. It doesn't have you putting this other half on. You're only, you're only putting half on, and then you're jumping to this piece on both sides. You gotta put this upper piece in. And you leave that other side open and a little bit of the side. It's actually this one. It's like 15, 15 something inches long. And if you notice, it's got to go like that in there. So you're going to have to cut this angle. So I would go past as far as you need to go. Mark it, mark it, and then cut that. And you're going to have to sand it on an angle. So this will come in here. Because you're going to come in here and put your, your blocking in behind it for... These wires. There's a block that's got to get glued, so you got to have an opening to get up in there, and you're going to glue them to these. It's that block that I showed you before. This piece, and you're going to cut it in half, and half goes on this side. It's going to come in there like that, somewhat, and this board will be there, and it's going to be on an angle. So, but I'm still going to, I want to put as much bracing in here as like, I, I'm, I'm just going to do it. It doesn't say to, it, I think it does tell you to put, I, it doesn't really tell you to put it in there, but it shows it on the plans. To put some bracing in here, and I think right here on the sides. But you're, most of that, you're going to, if you close this up, you're going to have to come to the fuel tank area. And I recommend before you close up your fuel tank area, I get this board on, get your two sides on, and then I would set your fuel tank. And get your fuel tank all positioned so why you can still get in there and get your fuel tank mounted. Um, get all your fuel tank bracing in there. So, all right. So yeah, I did taper this too. I don't know if I told you that. This end, I sanded it real lightly with my sand. I used my bigger sanding block and sanded it. It doesn't take much and you can taper it. it doesn't take very long. I brung it out flush with the outside right here. Because eventually you're gonna, once you get this other piece in, you're gonna cut this off to the shape.
and we'll come back later and cut this excess off. I'll probably leave a quarter inch on it, sticking out past. The same with these, you should stack past about a quarter inch. And then you can put a little triangle piece. Um, I have extra pieces. I'm going to probably put a piece of triangle, like a corner piece in here, corner piece in there, and I'll go around it. You can see there's a little bit of a gap in there. I don't know if you can see that through there on both sides. And, but I'm going to put some wood up in here after I put this in. After I get that in, then I'll fill that up there with wood. So I'm not too worried about that. All right, I thought I was videoing. <clears throat> Apparently I stopped, <clears throat> but I just glued this top on. Um, I ran a bead of thick CA all the way down and up the front of the post, down the front of the post and across the top, and then set it in there. <clears throat> and then I went around with my square and checked because it has a slight taper end toward the top. It takes this top and bends it in. And so I made sure everything was exactly the same. On this side, onto this side. So it's all the same, it's exactly square. So we should be good. So we got that glued in. I wish I videoed it, but I didn't check to make sure I was videoing before. So now we gotta set our wires and they need to come towards the center. But we got some little pieces we gotta put on the tips of the wires. So I need to bend this wire a little bit.
So right now, this one's a little bit longer. You see how it is? So I got to cut that out of there. Because this wire was a little bit longer than that one was. There we go. I just used one of the other screws that came with the kit to put it in because that one was too short to set the blind up. So now I can glue these in. All right, everybody, uh, I got it sitting upside down so the epoxy doesn't run out down here. I'd rather have it run into the corner. So I'm going to let that set until tomorrow, and then we'll keep working on the plane. If you like what you're seeing, hit that like button. Subscribe if you would, please. It, uh gets me keeps me motivated to keep making these videos and uh hit that hit that old bell please so everybody till tomorrow have a good night